Hi, Darrell with Banner Engineering. Today, I'm gonna to cover Banner's laser gauging sensor product offering with you. This is a unique class of sensors that were designed to solve challenging applications. Not only can these sensors see difficult targets, they're actually able to accurately gauge the distance of that target from the sensor, regardless of the target's color or its surface. For example, it'll see a dark target as well as it will a shiny target. Uh, before I get into what's different with all of these sensors, I'm going to show you what's common with all of these. All of these sensors use a red visible laser light. What's nice about that is the light is collimated. Therefore, it'll stay nice and tight over a long distance. Also, you always know where the sensor is seeing its target. This makes for easy alignment. All of these sensors come with multiple modes of teach modes. Uh, some of these have up to five. That's important because these sensors were designed to cover a, a wide span of applications. So with these options, you're able to use the right teach mode for your specific application. Now, along with that, we have unique algorithms. And not only can we detect dark targets at very long ranges, we can also detect clear objects as well. These sensors also have multiple response speed modes. So not only do you get a high precision sensor, you also get a high speed sensor when you need it. Another nice feature is all of these sensors can be programmed remotely. We actually have a RSD1 remote sensor programming device that allows you to do this very easily. But what's nice about that is once your sensor is mounted, sometimes you don't have access to it. So with this device, you can easily uh, reprogram the sensor if you need to. Because we have different options, we created a guide that will help guide you to the proper option that you need for your particular application. So I'm gonna play off of that. And we're gonna start with our most popular sensor offering, which is the Q4X. And then we're gonna assume that you, if you need more range, uh, I'm gonna show you which sensors to go to. If you don't need range, then uh, we're gonna assume you need more resolution or repeatability, and I'll show you those options as well. So we're gonna start off with our most common sensor. This is the Q4X. We call this a problem solving sensor because uh, it's been battle tested out in the field and uh, it is winning a lot of applications out there because it is very robust. It's a stainless steel with an FDA grade housing. Uh, in this image, you'll notice that we have two different housings, one with 18 millimeter threads and one with a flesh mount surface. What's nice about that is this isn't hygienic. However, it can go into food applications and the flush mount makes it very nice for those uh, high pressure wash down type of applications. Uh, this is IP69K as well. It has a nice four digit seven segment display so you can easily see what's going on with the sensor. And again, as I mentioned, remote programmable. You can have discrete analog IO or pulse pro outputs. And the ranges of this sensor range from 25 millimeters out to 610 millimeters. So here's a quick breakdown of that. We have four sensors to cover those ranges and uh, one at 100 millimeters max range, another at three, 500 and 600. Now there's advantages and disadvantages to these. The ones that are very close range, the 100, you're gonna get very good repeatability out of that 0.2 millimeters. So as this chart shows, the longer the range, the less repeatability you have. But you'll notice that the 600 is unique. It has the same repeatability, which is three millimeters, as the 300. The way that we achieved this is we're using a pixel that has a lot more resolution. And I'll get into that in another video. So where are, where are these uh, being used? They're actually, there's a, a large number of applications where we're using these in general. These are very good at picking up very dark targets at a very long range. And again, as I mentioned before, they can also pick up clear objects very, very well. Well, that does it for this product offering. Thanks for watching.